Hey guys, Courtney here. Um, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and please like this video. Um, I can use all the help I can get just starting out. Um, today's video, let's just get to it, is going to be something a little bit on the more serious side. I'm going to be talking about um, something that I've dealt with for a very long time involving um, a mental disorder that I didn't want to confront for a very long time, but um, I eventually did and I eventually realized, you know, hey, something is wrong here. Um, so it is my OCD. Um, it's not the funny kind of OCD that people always joke like they're really clean or they're really neat kind of OCD. I truly have um, obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about kind of what OCD really is, um, what it stems from, uh, what I'm doing to help it. And yeah, I just want to kind of talk about that, get that out there, especially because I haven't been really recording very many videos or posting many blogs because um, it has caused me quite a bit of anxiety from the OCD. Um, so I definitely want to kind of just talk about it and get it out there. So other people can know if they see this that they're not alone um, and if anybody has found a way to kind of help with their OCD maybe you can reach out and let me know what you've done. Alright so first I want to talk about what OCD really is. Um, obsessive compulsive disorder can affect people in many different ways um, through a ton of research and talking to numerous people it seems that what happens is um, the neurotransmitters that transmit, I guess, serotonin to your brain um, are kind of broken. So the way that they're supposed to work, um, normal people's brains would work in a way that causes you to have a normal regulation of serotonin. Um, but with OCD people, there's something kind of broken or missing there. Um, so that's why a lot of people are prescribed SRIs, um, which just, I think, are supposed to pretty much just bring up the levels of your serotonin. Um, uh, SRIs are also used for depression and anxiety very, very often. Um, so obsessive compulsive disorder, um, it's pretty much, it, you can have different obsessive compulsive problems. Um, for instance, you, obsess about something um, whether it's in your mind or in real life and that causes you to act compulsively um, so for instance let's talk about how I mainly have dealt with OCD over the years um, so I at a young age developed OCD probably at the age I'd say I don't know, eight or nine. And at the time, I did not know that that's what this was. Um, I thought that something was just wrong with me. <laughs> um, I come from a very religious household and I had an issue with my thoughts. Um, so I was afraid of offending God. Um, so I thought a bunch of things that weren't real, that I didn't mean, but I wasn't technically able to control my thoughts. The more that I obsessed over these thoughts, the more I compulsively felt the need to tell my mom every thought that I was thinking. Um, I didn't know what was wrong with me. I prayed and prayed. Um, I was born again. And for a little while, all those things went away. I didn't do it as much anymore um, so I just thought okay you know it's gone now like whatever had happened you know it was a fluke um, give it a couple more years and I started to develop ticks um, so as a child I had choked numerous times so I would food my I, I would chew my food compulsively until it pretty much didn't exist anymore and then I would um, swallow it. I would um, do this thing with the back of my throat with my tongue because I always felt that something was stuck in my throat. I consistently cleared my throat all the time. 
Um, so I just had all these little ticks that I did that I didn't realize at a young age that were OCD. Um, so, so from there, fast forward, you know, what? 20 years now? I'm 28 now, geez, let's not even get into that. Um, but fast forward until, oh, I guess I'd say probably my mid to early 20s, and um, it started happening again. Um, so I started to notice that if I had to leave my dog home, um, and you know by himself i started to get really obsessive about making sure that my house was not going to catch on fire um, for instance my hair straightener um, the oven the toaster i would double check over and over again um, so the thing about it is is i would look at it and i would acknowledge that it was off know that it was off or know that i hadn't even used it that day um, and still compulsively could not control the need to continue checking it. Um, along with the fact that I had to take pictures of it, um, this still happens. I still have to take pictures of things because I'm so scared that it's going to be on and my house is going to catch on fire. My dog's going to die. Um, I know it sounds crazy. Uh, and I would check things like over and over again. And you can ask my boyfriend, I ask him to check things for me as well um, because I really don't trust my own OCD judgment, I guess is what I should say. Um, so it has just gotten to a point to where I just, you know, I do these things because I care. Um, so it creates a fear in my mind and that's why I obsessively compulse about it. Um, so same thing with my boyfriend. I'm so terrified of losing him that I pretty much tell him all the thoughts going on in my mind. Um, bad thoughts, you know, anything that I think, you know, might have caused me to be guilty or dishonest. Um, you know, and it is a consistent flow and struggle of thoughts. So I'm constantly struggling with the fact that I feel guilty or I have this fear of losing my boyfriend. Um, I've done nothing wrong. You know, I don't do anything wrong. The thoughts that I think I don't mean, but in my mind, I feel so guilty. You know, my mind's sending this message to my body and I just get this overwhelming feeling of guilt that I have to tell him these things, these thoughts, or I have created this ideal that I'm going to lose him. Uh, so to people out there that don't have OCD, I know this might sound crazy. You know, I know how it sounds. Um, the way I explain it to people is it's like there's two of me there's me that's me and the logical person that sees what i'm doing and knows you know it's not real and then there's another part of me that it's like the bad part of me and it's like it's telling me to do these things that and feel guilty and feel this fear that i know isn't real but i can't fight against it so that brings me to finally going to a doctor um, so therapy, my friends, is very expensive and I still have not chosen to go to therapy yet because it is so expensive. It's like $300 from what I found a session. So I haven't done that yet, but I did go to a doctor. Um, I told them what was going on and they prescribed me um, an SRI medication. So um, with this medication, I started off with 25 milligrams and they told me that they will move me up gradually over time um, to expect headaches and nausea. Um, the first couple of days were rough. I pretty much was completely out of it. Um, I was kind of, you know, my brain was a little bit on the foggy side. After that, it's pretty much evened out. Um, I don't feel any different. I have been getting the headaches, so I do have to take a leave um, 
She said that you should notice a difference within four weeks is when everything should really start to even out, as with all medication. Um, and then eventually she wants to move me. She said 25 milligrams is for somebody pretty much with just um, anxiety or depression. And for OCD, uh, you need to take about 100 milligrams. So hopefully, once we get to 100 milligrams, everything's evened out. <laughs> um, I do think that obsessive compulsive disorder stems from um, genetics. I think it also stems from a mental disability in your brain. Um, everybody's brains are just so different and it is such a complex organ that I feel like still to this day we can't really understand it. Um, I've chosen to take a step because I don't want to live this way. You know, it's not OCD, it's not curable. Um, and I realize that I'm hoping that I can better myself or find something that will help me. You know, I've tried many, many methods, you know, I've tried meditation, I've tried prayer. Um, I've tried my own like methods to try to get rid of it and nothing has really helped. I don't want to suffer for the rest of my life. Um, so that's why I chose to get on medication. Um, but if anybody has any thing if you see this video and you found something that's worked for you please leave a comment down below um i would love to hear what's helped you um and if this video helps somebody else um i would be super super happy i know it's not much of a help but i do want others to know out there you know if you do struggle with ocd it's not some funny thing that people think it is it's something really really serious and it can cause a lot of suffering um you know my brain is constantly running constantly you know i, I never get like a relaxation from my mind um so i know how much it can cause others to suffer through it um but i have full faith that there is something out there that is going to help it so and hopefully it's going to be this medication so but like i said guys um if anybody knows of anything that has helped you or you just have something you'd like to say please leave a comment down below um and i would love if you subscribe to my channel i promise my next video won't be as serious as this i just really wanted to get this out there and kind of talk about what's been going on um with me so everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching.